There's no such thing as being too cool to have beautiful skin. I don't care where you from, what you've done. I'm St. John. I'm gonna show you how to do it. First things first, you gotta watch your face. You gotta get your face right. All right, cool. Simple wash, right? I'm not done washing my face, obviously, I'm just wet. First thing I start with is this. It's a gentle exfoliant, so you can really do it for a while. I like lathering my face. I like knowing for a fact that I'm giving myself love. Self-love happens in a mirror, in a shower, by yourself. You know what's a myth? Guys who are too tough to take care of their skin. That's a myth, that don't exist. They sound dumb. I really do take a long time with it. Because I really do sincerely, genuinely love myself. Don't forget your neck too. Everybody else forgets their neck. I'm not sure why. My mom told me that. I don't know the difference between a pat dry and rubbing the joint all over your face. You got sensitive skin, you might want to take your time. The second order of business. This is rose hip oil. If you've never seen it before, take a look at that. Because I've been traveling, your skin will get dry because you're traveling. Whenever you're in different altitudes, different temperatures, different climates. Oh, this is the consistency of it. It's not, it's just oil. Always rub up. My mom told me that. My mom said, you have to fight gravity, rub up. So I rub up because I don't want to figure out what happens if I don't listen to my mom. She said rub up and she got great skin. Just, if it's not enough, just double back for a generous amount. It don't matter, it's your skin. You got to know what you need. They can't tell you what, what to do on a the bottle. They ain't never seen your face. They ain't never wake up next to you. How do you know how much you need? They give a general prescribed amount and then you got to figure out what's best for you. My skin feels amazing. And then here's the last thing. Because if you really love yourself, you'd never neglect vitamin C. Vitamin C will save you a misery, tears, and I'm staring at old pictures. You won't be staring at old pictures talking about when you used to be sexy. Y'all don't want to do that. I'm not even doing too much because vitamin C, vitamin C has a brightening element. Meaning if you put too much of something like this on, it naturally will brighten your skin. That's not the intention. I just want to make sure my skin gets hydrated. I just put a drop, I literally just hit it with a drop. Oh, you too tough? You too masculine to put a drop of vitamin C around your orbital bones? You don't wanna be sexy in real life? You wanna be half sexy? I don't believe in that. I believe it's be sexy or go home. And I ain't been home in a long time. And plus I know the trick, fam. I know it's this finger. Girls don't tell you it's this finger. You gotta use this one. Cause this is supposed to be the one that applies the least amount of pressure. So when you just tap in it like this because the skin underneath your eye, is the most sensitive skin on your entire body. There's no such thing as being too cool to have beautiful skin. I don't care where you from, what you've done. Bumpy, greasy, beaten, broken, ruffled skin, that ain't what you really want. I, I don't care what you look in the mirror and tell yourself, I know what you really need, I know what you really want. And you're probably gonna need some vitamin C, and you're gonna need some rosehip oil, and plus you're gonna need an exfoliant. I'm tired, I've been on a lot of planes, trains, and automobiles. I wanna go to bed. Bye. I forgot to shut you off.